Okay, so going to the next, uh, what is art for you? Uh, I see that you have a different way of uh, conceptualize things. So what is art? How do you conceptualize art? So, so the easier way for me to, to, to talk about it is art is, is a word, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was in the beginning, it was kind of come, comes from the word artificial, Like it's something that is not true, but you bring it and, you know, bring some impression from the outside on the canvas. And then the frequency kind of got higher and higher and higher. Let's say the impression is they could paint the sun in, 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 in the color of blue, which was not really as the sun itself. For me, art in the higher sense, in the higher frequency range, is, is, a, is a state. Again, it's a product. It's a product. It's something touchable. It's the 1% physical that awakens the 99% unphysical, or metaphysical, or spiritual, or whatever you call it, in what you call being, or yourself, and gives you a certain state that you want to keep on watching at, at it. You want to put it in your room because it reflects, it resonates the frequencies of the one who created it, which in my case is the high frequency. You know? Oh, okay. That is beautiful. But when you speak about higher frequency or higher things, I mean, I don't know if everybody in our public understand what is that. I mean, what do you mean with higher frequencies for if someone else wants to understand you? So that's a very good question. Uh, The, let's say I will try to, to make a voice painting here, okay? And my explanation, you know, everything that I talk, and we all, by the way, are painting our voice, all of us. Most of us are doing it mechanically. And the more we are aware of this abstraction of self, We know how to choose the words in a way that will really resonate in who we truly are, which is not physical. We are an eternal identity, which was always there and always is. I don't even look at the future. The future is non-relevant now because there is the only thing that it really exists is time-wise, is now, all right? All right. Now, when I take something which has a, I would say, emotional baggage from the past, mm -hmm. it has a low frequency. Okay. Or let's take it in another angle, um, I'll give it in, in a few angles. Like take, take iron compared to gold. Mm -hmm. So the frequency of the gold is higher than the frequency of the iron. But if you take the iron, there is also a range of frequencies in the iron because it can be pure iron, or which is a wonderful material. I made many sculptures with that. Or you can find an iron which is half and half iron okay it will be something it will be it will be felt differently so when i say a high state it's a memorable moment that you are in contact with your with pure source whatever that means everyone has his own definition of it and you are connected to yourself whatever that means. 
and you feel complete. You see, you feel, you have a sense of well-being in you, right? Mm -hmm. You don't hurt anyone else. You don't, I mean, your intention is to be in peace. You know, to, to, to respect the other, to be in peace with the other. That's a high alchemy or high state. So when you bring an art piece, basically it's something artificial because you take it from the phenomena world, which comes and goes, right? The, 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 the uh, how do you say it? There is the eternal and there is, what's the opposite of it? Impermanent, right? Mm -hmm. So when you, do in some, when you do a piece, when you work on a piece of art and you, you are fully with it and there is no distractions and you bring the best in you, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a painting that you will remember. Now, you can bring the best war phase in you, and you will attract all the people that loves war, which is all right. It can be <laughs> also very low frequency and very high frequency. Or here, it depends on the technique. It depends on the colors you use, the canvas, the frame. The context, you know, it, def it depends in many, many places on many, many ingredients. But art basically is something that really has a certain thumb, uh, you know, it has a brush print, like a fingerprint. It has a brush print. You know, people look at my art, they know that I've painted it. I have my own, you know, it's, 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 a. Uh, you know, it's me. Yes. Yes, I completely no, can recognize it. <laughs> right. Because I didn't learn anywhere and it's my input, you know, it's the self, the, 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 it's something that I can create and I, I didn't copy anyone, although I remind people of different paintings, painters. I think a, a writer, art historian, Benjamin Walter used to say that it's like the aura, the each painting have an aura and this aura is coming also from the painter, no? So it's like this, this can be like the soul also, no? the soul that you are print put it into them you know so it's you know, you know look at frida she has her own style georgia o'keefe has her own uh, style and i have my own style yes and we have all those painters are having a style a personal style because they are very into it you know they're really into it they don't copy anyone else mm -hmm. so well in continuation um what is the meaning of your art if you have a meaning i'm maybe each painter have a, a meaning and maybe you have a general meaning. My art is a voice painting. You know, it brings you information which connects you to your higher self. Okay. okay. And um, which in your case, uh, which artist do you think influenced your path? 
The first that came to my mind is Da Vinci. I love him. Um, there is someone, uh, I don't remember his name, but I'm not so intellectual in the, in the art history. And, you know, I never learned art history, luckily, for me. <laughs> yes, okay. It wasn't really, I'm not interested in so much, so much in what happened. Mm-hmm. I'm more interested in what's now. Okay. And it's not really, I mean, it's not 100% true, but I don't find myself digging myself in what happened, what happened, what happened. I like to know what happened in the, in the past in general. I mean, uh, everybody have like a kind of influencer, like you say, Da Vinci in my case, because, well, Da Vinci, I understand, was a very free person. We're really free, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. So, yes, I mean, you can get like certain influences from uh, the Renaissance or you can get some th- certain influences from the classic uh, Greeks or from Egypt or from Mesopotamia and, and or from the pre-Hispanic arts, you know, just or maybe from the orthodox yes church or art you know it's not that you are that kind you are that art or you are like them but you get glimpses of them you get like influenced by by their style yeah the I style understand. or something i think the the gold in the renaissance in the churches paintings really attracted me, or the Russian paintings, all those, uh, I don't know how you call them. Uh, I love the Egypt, uh, the, the Egyptian art, the Indian art, uh, the colors, especially. Many people tell me that my colors are Indian, which probably I'm very affected by it because I love it, and I love India in general. Okay. Um, there is a painter that I really like. I don't. I think he's Austrian. He's he also has um, a lot of gold in his paintings. And I have many paintings. I have. I use gold a lot. You know, twenty two carats or twenty three carats gold leaves. Wow. On, on, on the frames or on the painting itself or acrylic gold, which I, I really, really like it. You know, it gives me some, some kind of, um, I like it. I use it all the time. Uh, most of the time, I would say. Nice. That's, yes. that's what comes to my mind. But in, in Leonardo da Vinci, that's basically, I like the art, but I never was a figurative art, art artist. I mean, I don't even know how to paint three-dimensional. I mean, if I do paint three-dimensional, it's by mistake. <laughs> even if I learned, I remember that I tried to learn it for some time or, or how to, to paint the body and everything. Something in me couldn't, couldn't grasp it. Yes. I don't know. And I do have a few figurative, but it just kind of happened, kind of a miracle. It's uh, really, really nice. Yeah, I've painted a lot. You know, I invite people to go to my gallery that I kind of try to do in my website. Um, yeah, elbatadam.com. So um, I kind of collect the paintings from the past for the first time in my life. I recollect them and try to put them in order and not with a lot of success, but that's a, the great success that I have for now. Um, I started painting uh, nature. Without standing in front of nature, I kind of had memories of it. And I remember that I looked at the paintings and I realized, wow, I didn't know that there are these kind of trees here and there. I went out, like I saw, 
I didn't. I saw in my paintings things things that I didn't really see while while I was driving in my invite in in the environment that I was painting mm-hmm. or walking in the env- environment that I was. It was really a nice insight to understand that I'm not so much aware of what I see, but when I start painting it, it just comes out of my hand and describes what really in nature around me. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, it's very nice. Yeah. But my, my and my mandalas are not necessarily symmetric. Okay. Okay. It's just more there, there are some which are yes, but which are, but the idea is the the going out from the center, that's what that that's kind of the manifestation. When we kind we uh, when we have the heart as an anchor or knowing it thyself as an anchor, or knowing what you really want as an anchor, everything else is a bonus. Beautiful. You, know, you, start, you start spreading things that become flowers, become negative and positive, become triangles, become flames, become whatever. I like it. So we're coming to an end and I would like to ask you if you sell your paintings or also if you have like a little prints, postcards, t-shirts with your paintings or something else like where people can buy and can say, hey, I want something from, from Yael to remember her or to remember her expression of art. Okay, so it's it's funny that you ask me that because uh, before I made the gallery, uh, let's say after I made the gallery, I decided to create a shop. Okay. And then there's so much effort and there's so much work and there's so many paintings, you know, because I came back to art. I'm kind of left it in the same intensity that I'm doing it today. I kind of, for a few years, I tried to teach consciousness and develop consciousness through art. And I kind of realized that I'm running after the people more than they want. I'm, I want them more than they want me. Yes, <laughs> sometimes. And, and I, didn't like, I didn't like this triad, you know, and I realized, mm-hmm. no, I don't want that. I mean, enough is enough. And I stopped. And realizing that now I'm coming to, to, to paint again, but if you, as a customer, as someone who wants to be uh, with my art, you're going to make the effort. Okay. I'm not going to make the effort. I did already my part. I <laughs> think I published it. I decided the price. Uh, my whole life, I'm 66 years old. For 66 years, I've kind of brought this moment to you. And you'll decide if you want it. If you want a painting, you can always write me uh, in the create contact. We, we can also add it to, to yes. the details. Contact me. I love connection. I would love to speak to you. You don't have to buy. I would like to tell you that there is, I'm kind of breaking the karma of it's very, very difficult to buy art. It's very expensive to buy art. Art is expensive. Art is in a, in a investment in yourself. It's not an a investment in money. Not in my case. Maybe in my case as well. I don't know. Who, who knows? But I'm breaking the karma of giving you and feeding you, feeding you with everything. I'm not there. 
not, I mean, that's not me. If you want to buy my art, I can divide it to 10 installments. Who cares? Instead of being here on my wall, it will be on your wall and I'll receive every month a payment from you. Beautiful. Because I want you to, to uh, I, I, it's not that I want you to, I would love to spread my art, to spread the message. And the moment that you purchase a painting from me, we are friends because we are similar. <laughs> That's the beauty of it, you know, for me, as a, as a woman that is, 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 is aware of her, con- of her basic need to connect. Very nice. Thank you. To finish, uh, can you describe in five words your art? <laughs> five words. It's just like, or an idea or something that I can... Five words. Okay, so it's... Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, r- what came up now. Spiritual, consciousness, beauty... Um, depth um, smile nice. smile or dance okay so thank you very much Ael. this was a very beautiful conversation and interview uh, uh, I hope uh, Everybody can appreciate what she's doing and what you are doing. And yes, about uh, buying art and be connected with the arts. I am agree with you that that helps us a lot. Yeah, it helps when there is art in your uh, 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 an authentic art, even not even a print. And again, I'm not against it. But the highest value of art is when it's original. Yes, because it, it's, it continues to vibrate. It's like an instrument. When you don't play it, it stops vibrating. Yes, it's like what Walter Benjamin says. It's like when you have the original in your house, have an aura and resonate uh, all the things that... Uh, artist was doing there and that aura never go so I st- stay there and it's going to be with you so it's very right. important that you choose well when you when you right. choose no like yeah it's very nice thank, thank you. you so much thank you f- so much for the opportunity to bring myself out and I really appreciate your efforts in you know, taking your time and investing it, uh, you know, in creating a, a, a better environment, basically. That's what you're doing. I really, really appreciate it. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Anita. Thank you. Thank you.